After a nuclear war in the vast arid post-apocalyptic Australia, the green place of many mothers is one of the last spots with fresh water and agriculture. While Furiosa and her sister are innocently picking fruits, raiders decide it's time to crash the party. Thinking quickly, Furiosa tells her sister to play invisible while she sneaks over to the gang's motorcycles to pull a little sabotage. Just as she's doing her best ninja impression, one of the raiders spots her. In a swift move that would make a martial arts movie jealous, she stabs him in the thigh with a knife and whistles for backup. Meanwhile, in the village, everyone is busy with their daily grind when Mary hears the whistle. It's like the bat signal, but noisier. Mary hops on a horse as she and her friend dash after the raiders, who have decided Furiosa would make a great kidnapping victim for their boss. Mary and her friend fire shots until they manage to kill two of them. Mary, channeling her inner action hero, commandeers the fallen raider's motorcycle and tells her friend to head back to the village. Mary takes down another raider, but two, including the one with Furiosa, manage to escape. From a distance, Mary picks off another raider with her sniper rifle, leaving just the one holding Furiosa. The raider makes it safely inside the camp with Furiosa. The biker horde is led by Dementis. His men interrogate the raider who captured Furiosa, wondering where he found such a rare, healthy girl. The gang member, trying to play it cool, claims he found her in a resource-rich area and offers to spill the beans if he can meet Dementis himself. Dementis's men, eager to uncover this gold mine, agree, realizing they are on the brink of discovering her village. Furiosa acts decisively, slitting her captive's throat and inflicting severe injuries. Dementis's men bring Furiosa and the injured guy to Dementis and explain the situation. As they try to make the guy speak, Furiosa kicks him to death. Dementis, ever the villain, orders a health check on Furiosa, confirming she's as fit as a fiddle. He decides to keep her around, planning to use her to locate and eventually conquer her village. He assigns two of his bulliest men and one very disgruntled woman to take Furiosa to a tent and care for her. Meanwhile, Mary, channeling her inner spy, disguises herself to blend in with the gang and slips into the tent where Furiosa is held. Like a ninja, she swiftly takes out the two guards. The woman pleads for mercy. Mary, feeling magnanimous, spares her and escapes with Furiosa on a motorcycle. The woman, evidently lacking gratitude, alerts the gang about Furiosa's escape with her mother. The gang, itching for action, quickly mobilizes and starts shooting at Mary, hitting some gasoline she was carrying. Mary's clothes catch fire, turning her into a human torch for a hot second. She quickly extinguishes the flames and, like the badass she is, keeps riding with Furiosa. Mary, now injured and bleeding from the burns, becomes a walking breadcrumb trail for Dementis's dog. Realizing she's running on fumes, she decides to pull a heroic sacrifice. She tells Furiosa she'll hold off Dementis's goons to buy her time to escape. She gives Furiosa a peach seed, asking her to plant it in their homeland when she returns. Ensuring Furiosa is safely on her way, Mary channels her inner action hero and goes full Rambo on Dementis's men, taking out several before they finally overpower her. From a distance, Furiosa sees what is happening and returns to save her mother. Tragically, Dementis captures Furiosa and asks for her home's location, but she keeps mum. He kills her mother in front of her in a heart-wrenching scene of torture. The next day, Dementis and his men go out to the wasteland in search of the new paradise, with Furiosa tied up and locked in an iron cage. They capture a group of people trying to escape. Dementis has one of the guy's limbs tied to motorbikes, forcing his men to battle it out and the winners get to ride the motorcycle and tear off the escapee's limbs. Furiosa is horrified, watches the ordeal. The following day, Dementis, fueled by ambition and perhaps a lack of breakfast, sets out in search of food and water. Furiosa is still in her cage, accompanied by a historian, an old man. The next day, they stumble upon a strange man standing injured on the road, looking like a dead man. The man, clearly delusional, thinks he's waltzed into heaven. Dementis, ever the curious tyrant, asks about his life. The man, with a dramatic flair, reveals he lived in a place called the Citadel, ruled by a guy named Morton Joe. The guy tells Dementis about abundant food and water at the Citadel. Dementis convinces the man to lead them there. As Dementis rolls up to the Citadel, he strikes a pose and declares his noble mission to liberate the people from the big bad of Morton Joe. He calls for the people to join his freedom parade, but all he gets is the sound of silence. Immortan Joe, not one to miss a beat, challenges Dementis to pick any of his men, aka war boys. Dementis, thinking he's making a bold move, lets Smeg pick one. The war boy, without batting an eye, sacrifices himself, killing some of Dementis's men. Proving that Immortan Joe's war boys are ready to die for him at any moment, leaves Dementis to rethink his life choices. Just then, Immortan Joe's sons, Scrotus and Rictus Erectus, because apparently, normal names just don't cut it in the wasteland, confront Dementis, 
warning him that he and his men are doomed. Without missing a beat, Joe's forces launch a fierce attack on Dementis and his soldiers. In the ensuing battle, many of Dementis's men are slain. Amidst the chaos, some of Joe's war boys attempt to capture Furiosa, but Dementis swiftly intervenes and escapes with her. After these harrowing events, Dementis and his surviving men spot a war rig transporting food in exchange for fuel to a town called Gas Town. Seizing the opportunity, Dementis's men hijack the truck on its way back and disguise some of his men as war boys. Dementis attacks his own disguised men to convince the Gas Town leader. Using the Trojan horse strategy, Dementis and his horde successfully take control of Gas Town, a crucial hub of fuel resources. With Gas Town under their control, Dementis and his men, along with the captured leader of the Gas Town, go towards the Citadel. Dementis, thinking he's quite the strategist, proposes a deal to Immortan Joe. He can either destroy Gas Town and all its fuel or allow Dementis and his men to reside there and supply Joe with fuel in exchange for food and water, just like the good old days under the previous ruler. Immortan Joe agrees and strikes a deal with Dementis. When he sees Furiosa, he asks Dementis who she is. Dementis, thinking on his feet, lies and says she is his daughter. Furiosa, however, reveals the truth. Immortan Joe sets a price for Furiosa to become one of his wives, hoping she will bear a healthy child, something his current wives have failed to do so, with his offspring suffering from various health issues or deformities. Dementis, despite some serious inner turmoil, reluctantly agrees as the price is an increased supply of food and water. Later, Furiosa is taken and placed among Joe's wives. Furiosa, however, is not having any of this. She resolves that she will not remain in this place or become Immortan Joe's wife. Rictus, one of Immortan Joe's sons, is obsessed with Furiosa's hair. Coming up with a plan, she cuts her hair and wears it as a wig, preparing for her escape. One night, Rictus arrives and takes her to a room. As he begins to play with her hair, Furiosa manages to escape, disappearing into the shadows like a ninja. Knowing the consequences of assaulting a potential Immortan wife, Rictus keeps her escape a secret, probably thinking it's better to keep all his limbs intact. After a few years, we see Furiosa now disguised as a boy working at the Citadel. One particular day, she heroically helps save a truck from falling. Impressed, they promote her to a dogman, which sounds cooler than it actually is. Soon after, Immortan Joe orders the construction of a new, stronger, and faster war rig. Furiosa and the crew work on constructing the massive truck intended for transporting food and supplies for trade. She learns the truck will soon depart, driven by a man named Petorian Jack, and sees this as her chance to escape. As the construction nears completion, Furiosa hatches her escape plan. She cleverly attaches a bike and some supplies to the underside of the rig. During the rig's first run, Furiosa hangs underneath in a stealth mode. But things go south quickly when a group of mortifiers, former allies of Dementis, ambushes the war rig. Chaos ensues, and Furiosa's carefully laid plan faces some serious bumps in the road. Then, because things weren't ridiculous enough, a group of mortifiers with propellers on their backs show up, dropping bombs on the truck. Furiosa, ever the resourceful one, manages to repair the truck just enough and pops up in front of Jack. He, realizing he's in desperate need of help, welcomes her to the fight. Together, they take down the attackers. After the dust settles and the last bandit bites it, Furiosa turns to Jack, gun in hand, and demands control of the truck. Jack, being a stubborn mule, tosses her out and speeds off into the sunset, leaving her standing alone in the desert. A few moments later, Jack has a change of heart, or maybe just realizes he doesn't know how to fix anything without her, and comes back. He explains that even if he gives her the truck, there's nowhere safe to go. The only viable places are Gas Town or the Citadel, both conveniently controlled by the charming tyrants Immortan Joe and Dementis. Offering Furiosa a partnership, he proposes to teach her the art of road wars so she can eventually go wherever she pleases. With no other viable options, Furiosa agrees and joins him. Some years passed and the war rig is barreling toward the third fortress of the wastelands known as the Bullet Farm. As they restock on ammunition, the warlord of Bullet Farm is fuming about the fuel shortage from Gas Town and asks to meet with Joe to sort it out. On their way back, Jack hands Furiosa a shotgun he's specially modified, assuring her that her training is complete and she is free to leave, promising to support her with everything she needs. Days later, they arrive at Gas Town, which is now in total chaos thanks to Dementis's stellar mismanagement skills. Dementis, ever the master of blame shifting, accuses Joe of causing the chaos instead of owning up to his mess. Back at the Citadel, the warlords are livid about the situation. The bullet farmer suggests eliminating Dementis by attacking Gas Town. So Joe orders Jack and Furiosa to return to the bullet farm to gather all possible ammunition. Next, Jack tends to Furiosa's wounds from the Gas Town fiasco, asking about the markings on her arm. He shares his own story of losing his parents, which deepens their bond. The next day, on route to the Bullet Farm, 
Jack halts the convoy and instructs the crew to load their bikes onto the V8 truck and board the rig. He directs Furiosa to drive the V8 while a war boy handles the truck. Though Furiosa pretends to be surprised, she knows Jack has already planned their escape since the V8 is conveniently stocked with supplies. Arriving at the Bullet Farm, they find it eerily deserted. However, Jack quickly realizes it's an ambush. They are fiercely attacked. Initially intending to leave, Furiosa hesitates, unable to abandon Jack. She returns to snipe at Dementis's men from a perch in the Bullet Factory, spotting Dementis himself, who had raided the Bullet Farm before their arrival. Meanwhile, Jack deals with pursuers of the war rig, aided by Furiosa's cover fire. A crane topples onto Jack's rig, leaving it dangling precariously over a deep trench. Furiosa grabs a bike and races to Jack's aid. She throws a grappling hook just as the rig collapses, rescuing Jack in the nick of time. They rush back to the V8 and speed away, but Dementis survives the fall and bursts through the bullet farm's gate in his monster truck, leading his men in a relentless chase. Soon, Dementis catches up to the V8. Jack and Furiosa attempt to shoot him, but his truck's windshield is annoyingly bulletproof. Furiosa and Jack are dragged from the wreckage, and Dementis, fuming with rage, declares they must pay for destroying the bullet farm. Holding on to each other, Furiosa and Jack listen as Dementis delivers a villainous monologue about survival being their only hope in the wastelands and everything else being hopeless. With a flair for the dramatic, Dementis declares he will have justice and vengeance for the destruction of the bullet farm, which was crucial for him to conquer the citadel. He orders Jack to be tied to a bike and secures Furiosa's injured arm to his truck, forcing her to watch as Jack is dragged in circles. After what seems like an eternity, Dementis decides it's enough and approaches Furiosa, only to discover she has cut her own arm and escaped. Classic Furiosa move. Furiosa flees toward Immortan Joe's castle with Dementis and his men in hot pursuit. Despite their efforts, Furiosa outsmarts them. Exhausted and out of fuel, she dismounts the bike and walks until she collapses and passes out. When Furiosa awakens, she finds herself in an unfamiliar cave with an elderly woman mistaken to be dead. Horrified, she gets out of there and returns to Immortan Joe. Furiosa interrupts the meeting, revealing Dementis's plot to lure them away from the Citadel, leaving it open for attacks. Knowing Dementis's plan, Immortan Joe plans to send a decoy convoy to Gastown to deceive Dementis. Joe's plan works like a charm and Dementis, always the sucker for a shiny distraction, takes the bait and marches toward the Citadel with his army. The decoy convoy, however, is recalled with signaling flares. In the aftermath of the war, the Citadel stands strong. Dementis's army, however, is significantly weakened. But, of course, Dementis himself survives because bad guys have a knack for that. He slinks away, plotting his next move. During this tumultuous period, Furiosa crafts a new iron prosthetic hand for her lost arm. Once her iron hand is complete, Furiosa joins forces with Immortan Joe soldiers and requests a vehicle to aid in the conflict. They provide her with a car that looks like it was held together by sheer willpower and duct tape. She drives it to the location where many of Immortan Joe's men are gathered. Furiosa pretends to give her car tires to Scrotus and Rictus, and seizing the opportunity she steals one of their good cars and pursues Dementis. She tracks down Dementis and his followers, eliminating several of them with perfect sniper shots. In response, Dementis orders his men to scatter in a desperate bid to confuse her. Furiosa follows one group, mistakenly believing Dementis is among them, but alas, he is not. After dealing with them, she resumes her search for Dementis. Eventually, she finds him in a makeshift tent, he tries to shoot her but is out of bullets. Clinging on to dear life, Dementis starts to flee. Furiosa calmly tails him in the car until Dementis grows weary and finally throws in the towel, surrendering with a sigh. Furiosa removes her hood and asks him if he remembers her and knocks him out. Upon regaining consciousness, Furiosa relentlessly reminds Dementis of the traumatic event when he murdered her mother right in front of her. Dementis has no recollection of this, but of course he has killed more people than he ever made friends with. Furiosa's fury doesn't let up as she continues to beat him, determined to jog his memory the hard way. Eventually, the memories flood back, but Furiosa's rage only intensifies. She accuses him of ruining her childhood and demands some form of restitution. Dementis, feeling utterly powerless, urges her to do whatever she wants but insists he can't undo the past. With a look of deep regret, Furiosa decides it's time to end his miserable life. But in fact, Dementis is alive, buried deep in the bowels of the citadel, where a peach tree now thrives from the seed her mother had given Furiosa to plant, nourished by his decaying body. A slow and painful torment till he dies. Furiosa shares the peaches from that tree with Joe's wives. In a daring act, Furiosa teamed up with Immortan Joe's wives, hatching an elaborate escape plan. Together, they stash themselves in a massive truck, ready to make their getaway.